Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So just how broad is your mobile broadband? One easy way to find out is downloading the free app from the FCC, the mobile broadband test available in the iTunes App Store as well as the Android Marketplace. Of course, you know that the HTC Evo 4G is running on Sprint's network and the iPhone running on AT&T's network. I've uh, been doing some rather interesting tests this morning uh, between these two devices. I'm going to go ahead and run the mobile broadband test on the iPhone, again running on AT&T's 3G network. Doing quite well, I would say, especially with download speed and upload speed, especially when compared to Sprint on their 3G network at the same location, and that's something to keep in mind. Just because you're testing in one location doesn't mean you're going to get the same speeds in another location. So let's go ahead and uh, test the Evo 4G. Again, to clarify, it is currently running on the 3G network, and don't worry, I will test it on the 4G network. And you've also got to run a series of these tests in the same location and get an average of the results. That's also very important. I mean, one test could be errant for one reason or another. So let's go ahead and check out the list of results that I've attained so far this morning. And you can see on average, uh, on the 3G network in this particular location, uh, the iPhone definitely does better overall than the HTC Evo 4G, again, on a 3G connection. And what's important to note with all of this is that uh, it was a series of tests that were run. So I could hit test again, and it could be extremely low, but I'd have to take that into the average. Uh, I will tell you that overall, the uh, download speed on the iPhone 4 as well as the upload speed on the iPhone 4 has been substantially better than the upload download on the Evo 4G on Sprint's 3G network. And then the latency was also uh, something that I noticed was a lot lower on the iPhone 4. So what I'm going to do at this point, other than remind you that these tests are just what happens to be, I guess, available where I happen to be testing these phones, so your tests would of course vary. There are different settings uh, you can uh, toggle, including uh, changing the, the local server, which on uh, both of them happen to be in Seattle, Washington. Uh, the readouts, you get uh, information on your IP addresses, and then of course the list of results, you can dig in deeper. All sorts of stats. It's kind of neat for a free application. So let's go ahead. We've seen the, the list of results uh, compared. I'm just going to do this again for clarifications. So let's go ahead and switch over to Sprint's 4G network and run the test again. And we should see, uh, at least according to tests that I ran earlier on Sprint's 4G network, speeds to be, uh, you know, really decent, actually. I was really uh, impressed with the download speed on Sprint's 4G network compared to its 3G network. Assuming that, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch the FCC test again. And we should see, uh, let me just make sure that the iPhone's not going to fall asleep there. Download speed. Oh, I think the download speed kind of got messed up there for a second. May have to rerun that test. In fact, I do want to rerun that test. Let's go ahead and test that again. And this again being on Sprint's 4G network, as you can see in the title bar up above. So I would again, for what, the third time, uh, remind you that these are just my tests here in this particular location. Try them for yourself, because your numbers, I, I can pretty much guarantee, are, are going to be different. <clears throat> so again, 4G connect, uh, connection on Sprint. Oh, finally, okay, here we go. There we go. So we've got uh, a faster uh, download speed, finally. Although I can tell you the upload speed in my 4G tests uh, on the uh, Evo uh, were never higher than uh, the, the average of the, the iPhone. And again, I'm running a series of tests. There we go. So, 
you know, we hear a lot about these 3G versus 4G networks. Is it really worth being on a 4G network? I don't know. Maybe you're in the market too. But you've got to, you know, run some tests or at least talk to friends who may have a 4G phone if you don't yet have one. But from my results, uh, the list of results on the 4G network, they really don't differ all that much from the list of results on a 3G network. Again, Sprint, AT&T, same location. You saw me running these tests live. Um, the upload speed never rivaled uh, the upload speed here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me clarify because I'm pointing at these things. The upload speed on Sprint's 4G connection or 3G connection never rivaled the speed uh, of uploads on AT&T's 3G network. So there you go. It is the free FCC app. You can do a search for it in the Android Marketplace or the iTunes App Store. Download it right now. Try it for yourself. You could try uh, speedtest.net. I've seen people run those as well, but I find that this particular dedicated application uh, tends to give me a bit more information, and uh, of course I'm able to you know, show you what I've uh, attained, at least to uh, this point. If you have any other suggestions for how to test these two phones and the two networks that they sit on, and really you're free to draw your own conclusions, I mean, you know, where I sit, I'm fine with a 3G network. Just fine. The AT&T doesn't always work well, but they work well enough. At least with the iPhone 4. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Uh, you're more than welcome to uh, drop me a line and, of course, leave a video response. And actually, that would be interesting. I'm, I'm going to challenge you right now. Uh, leave a video response with you running a test, if you can, and then your list of results. So if you could set it up much the same way, of course, you don't have to put it on my face or anything. Um, I was doing that because it made for an interesting background. I thought, oh, I can remove those things. Whoa! Almost dropped the laptop there. There we go. Does that make you happier? <laughs> so leave a video response with your own tests and results, and let's see how we compare throughout the country and the world. You may actually live or work or operate in a a nicer place than I do, at least as far as broadband on a mobile connection is concerned. Geeks.perillo.com is our community where you're free to embed those videos and participate in forums and chat rooms and, and everything there, because uh, we've got the chat room embedded uh, specifically on the front page as well as in the uh, toolbar that runs along the bottom of the screen. Chris.perillo.com, LockerGnome.net, LockerGnome.com, and you know, you can find the uh, live video feed that I'm going to attempt to load. And, and by the way, just, just so you know, uh, if you can see in the list of results, those little icons indicate that I was not on Wi-Fi. That would be a, another test altogether. And uh, I was trying to make this, see it says 3G right there? I don't know if you can tell. Actually, I don't know if it's going to focus in very well, but I'm going to try to show you that it says 3G. And if you can't see it, there we go. I think it's in focus now. Sorry, I forgot to point that out. What I was going to do is uh, pop over to the live video feed at pocket.perillo.com, which currently only runs uh, on the iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch, if it's even working, because sometimes Ustream's H.264 encoding software mechanism just doesn't work. Hey, cool, yeah. it works. You know, you can find the uh, live video feed that I'm going to attempt to cool, load. Huh? And, and by Over way, 3G. Just, you know, AT&T's uh, 3G. Ooh, my phone has got crap all over it. Oh, I'm sorry, I was holding onto a power button there. <clears throat> Either way, uh, you're more than welcome to join us in the uh, chat room, part of the live video feed, blah, 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 blah geeks, talking, community, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.